How are you going to complain that it's hard to be the man, but then also understand that being the man has value? They are linked. You cannot separate the two. It's a logic fail. If you love the fact, if you love the idea of being that character you dream of yourself to be, then you should love the fact it's hard to become that man because it means no one else can do it. I, th this is what I love. I love everything about my life. I know the shit I've been through to become who I am. And I wouldn't trade a second of it. Because there's also this massive juxtaposition which is so important for masculine happiness and contentment. I'll tell you the coolest thing about being rich. Remember when I was broke. That's all it is. It's only cool to sit there with my brother in the fucking nurse rat restaurant with Salt Bay being an idiot, spending 15 G's and saying, do you remember when we, do you remember when we didn't have one? Right. 15 grand for dinner? We never had 15 grand in our savings account in our lives. Damn. Do you remember that time we were living off those 10 pea packs of noodles for two weeks? Do you remember? You need this juxtaposition. There is no light without dark. You will not appreciate your six pack unless you didn't have one and you had to earn it. That's how the world works. So when I talk to these dudes like, oh, but it's, you know what, Tate? Yeah, I agree, but you know, it's hard. It's hard. Of course it is. It's supposed to be. And if you're not cut out for it, then, then fuck off and live a normal existence and die. Sit there, letting other men enjoy the spoils of being a man and fucking die. If that's what you want to do is just sit there and exist and then be fade into history unremembered. That's your decision. If you want to level up your character, then you need to get out here and do it. You need to be around brave men. You need to get some balls. You need to get your network together. You need to be paying attention to things like the Fresh Pit podcast. Listen to the truth. Humble yourself. Stop sitting there with an ego. Realize you ain't shit. Most of you fuckers could go look in the mirror right now. And if you were totally honest with yourself, go look in the mirror. And be honest with yourself and say, if I was a hot bitch, would I fuck me? And the answer for most of you is no. So you can't be mad at women. They've got eyes. They see the same shit you see right now. And they just don't. The answer is fucking no. You ain't got shit worth fucking, my friend. When they look at me, they're like, okay. Yeah, all right, fuck it. It is what it is. That's the game. But I made myself this way. I wasn't born this way. I absolutely not really made myself this way. And any single one of you men out here can do the same thing. It's the wrong way to view the world. We, every man understands you shouldn't be complaining about things you cannot change. You have to play the cards you're dealt. I can't be a cowboy, right? Justin's a cowboy, right? <laughs> I can't be an Australian. Sterling's an Australian. I can't be a dickhead. Tristan's a dickhead. <laughs> you, have to, you have to accept your role and you have to play it, right? To be born a certain height and then to sit there and go, what do I do? I'll tell you what you do. You become the best version of yourself just like everyone else does. We're all born, okay, let's say we were all blessed with height at this table. We still had to become the best version of ourselves. If I was only six foot three and didn't achieve any of the other things I've achieved, none of you would be watching this podcast right now. True. Nothing about the height is, 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 is in and of itself enough value for me to be a valuable man. As a man, you build your value. You are born with the cards you're dealt. Sure, it'd be ideal. Look, I'd love to be seven foot tall. I'm not. So it's the same argument. You can only become the best version of yourself and to sit there and to constantly complain about it is a feminine frame. If you're five foot two, you need to become rich, strong, well-connected and funny and charismatic and interesting and witty. If you're six foot four, you need to become rich, strong, well-connected. It's the same game. So to sit there and complain about it is asinine. In fact, asinine is the word of the day. All of you, listen, ladies and gentlemen, and this is extremely important. All of you have a handful of this. I don't think you understand that bacteria could have stolen your eyesight at the age of fucking three. You could have been in a car crash at four years old and lost your legs. You don't, you have under, you have any understanding of how lucky you have been. This is pure luck. There's no re, this only luck has kept you fully able body sitting there capable of learning and listening and becoming something. And they're going to sit there and pretend you don't have a pocket full of aces. You have a pocket full of aces along with everybody else. Every single person here is about to tell you a story of hardship. I would actually guarantee that most of the people watching this podcast had a better start than most of us. 100%. And here we are. So you have to, this whole frame I don't like. It's a question I get a lot. What do I do if I'm not rich? What do I do if I'm not tall? I was what, rich. what do I do if I'm not handsome? I'm uninterested. We're not females. If you come to me and say, I'm an ugly chick, what do I do? That's a genuine question because then you're fucked, right? But if you're an ugly man, that's not real because you can become scary. You don't need to be good looking. You can be scary as hell. You can just be a monster. That's fine. You don't have to be handsome if you're scary, right? You don't really need to be that tall if you're important and rich. And when you walk in the room, you think when fucking Mayweather walks in the room, people give a shit? 
That's Mayweather. Yeah, he's 5'3 or something. He's, he's tiny. He's tiny. Yeah, people shut the fuck up. That's right. So yeah. this whole this whole narrative, this whole frame, the fact you even ask that question shows that you're fundamentally broken. So fix that. Fix that frame in your mind. You are viewing yourself as a short man. Stop it. Because then she's going to view you as a short man. Walk the fuck up and be the man. That's the answer to the question. There's no other answer to give you. You can't change it. That's the answer.